Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Tekken Tag Tournament. This might be my last video for today. Of course, for you guys, that's not going to really matter much. Uh, who do we have left? Oh, we have a lot of characters. Paul. You know what, I don't... Okay, we, we can play Paul, but I want to play other Paul. Where the fuck is he hiding? There he is. No, God damn it! You know what I want, game. Yes. I need the biker jacket, Paul. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think he was a... For some reason, I thought he was a lockable character. I don't... Maybe he is. I don't know. All right, let's play some fucking Paul. We'll end off on some goddamn Paul, because of course we will. Wait, is it not back triangle now? What the fuck? What is it now? It's forward triangle now. You see what I mean by changing shit up? You guys think I'm fucking nuts? Because remember when I played him in Tekken 3 and I figured it out? It was, you know, down back uh, circle into, into back, back triangle. With that, that, you know, sweet punch thing. Well, now it's fucking forward triangle. So explain that one, huh? You think I'm going fucking crazy? You think I'm lying? Oh, come on. At least I still back two punch with this move. Which, of course, people just fucking backdash away from anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty obvious that, again, I'm not a big Paul player. Um, Paul's always felt kind of really stiff. I don't like his design in 8, though. I don't like how they changed it. I like Law's redesign when you get those nunchucks. That was pretty fucking sick. But other than that, yeah, not a fan. But, yeah, when you talk about Paul, you got to talk about Law, too. Because, you know, they're big buddies. So... Which, yes, I probably could have theoretically put him in here, but... Eh. Also, I didn't realize that Paul had the same fucking, like, j Slat beard look. I just now noticed that, too. I've never seen that. Or I never really paid attention to it. Switch out, you bitch. Damn it. Yeah, see, I see June, and it's like, damn, now I kind of want to play her again. Because June is fun. Uh-oh. Time to switch. Time to switch to husband. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Very clean. Damn it. She's gonna do hers now. She gave me a chance. She's like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see what you do. Well, you found out. The thing is, like, that is such a brutal whiff. That sweep. If you miss that sweep, that's gonna hurt. That is a hell of a punish. Even just hitting it, like if they're on the ground like that, even just hitting it is devastating enough. Okay, Anna Bruce. I forgot I had to play her at some point too. <laughs> Not a big fan of Nina either, to be honest with you. Not that she's bad. There's no, there's really nobody bad in this game except for maybe Doctor B. As, I, as far as I know, he's unlockable. He might still be the same way that he was before. Maybe he's not bad. Who knows? I mean, we'll find out one way or another, right? You know what's funny is I could just do that when I'm on the ground. I don't have to fucking get back up. You see, that's the thing, kiddos, with Tekken. Is, um... A lot of your knowledge should go into, like, how to, how to approach getting back up. You should be very weary of, like, what your opponent can do when you're on the ground. Don't be a fucking narc. Not a narc, but don't be a fucking idiot. You know, and be like, man, I fucking hate Tekken because I get hit when I'm on the ground. That's not fair. Because that's a, that's a stupid fucking excuse. And you're just a fucking inbred idiot if you think like that. Just saying. I'm, I know I'm being really mean. It's jokingly, kind of, of course, but half jokingly. But I'm dead serious when I say, like, you know, don't be that guy. It's like, wow, I got hit on the ground. That's not fair. I can't get up. That's not fair. Just fucking learn how to get up. It's not that difficult. How are they... How are, How is the opponent approaching? What move... Like, see right... Well, right there, that was just regular standing getting up. But I could have easily just, you know, gone back. Or in this, in this game's case, I could have easily just switched out to a different character. And that would have saved me the trouble from getting hit from the ground. Like right there, for example. That's pretty damn safe. As far as I know. What the... I, I was pressing it. <laughs> I was pressing square and triangle. What do you want? I wonder if you have... Hold on. 
Can I do launcher into setting this up? You're goddamn absolutely fucking right I can. Woo! Holy shit! <laughs> that was nice. I can't wait for Paul to get a dislike on this video because of that. It's funny, I, I'm going to say that and I'm going to see a dislike and be what the fuck was that for? Because you guys know I'm going to forget why I said that for. Just so you know. So, fair warning. If you dislike the video, I'm not going to know why. And please, 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 I encourage if you dislike a video, please tell me why you disliked it. It doesn't matter if you're being hateful about it or whatever. I just, I just, I like to know because it makes me curious. It's like, what the fuck? What did I do? What did I say? You know, is it my commentary? Because that's usually the culprit. Is it my gameplay? That's also another culprit. It could be anything. It's just the fact you just don't like me. Is it the fact that you were, uh... You just happen to be, like, maybe one of my friend's friends? <laughs> and then my friend tells you about my channel. And then he shows you my channel. And now you know about my channel, and now you're like, wow. This is dog shit. Speaking of which... Uh, I remember hearing about, like... You know, people that he knows... Uh, checking out a Donkey Kong Country Let's Play. And they, uh, he liked it. And I'm like, okay, wow, well, damn. Because, like, that was apparently, like, one of our best Let's Plays on my friend's channel. Not my, not the one on my channel, but the one on his channel we did a while back. We did um, Donkey Kong Country 1. Yeah, that was a pretty good Let's Play. And that's the thing, though, too, is, like, sometimes, you know, you get some good Let's Plays, and sometimes you just get some shitty ones. So, like, for example, when I was doing Metal Gear Rising, you know, I, I personally, in my opinion... I did not think that was a very good Let's Play, all things considered. I really didn't. Uh, I was not happy with it, you know? I'm happy with it as, like, a guide, because it's Metal Gear Rising, so it's pretty easy to do it as that. Vanquish, surprisingly enough, wish it was longer, but it was, it was too damn short. And on top of that, um, pretty decent Let's Play. I feel commentary wise, just everything in general, you know, I, I thought it I thought I did a pretty okay job at that one. But yeah, like I said, for something like Metal Gear Rising, yeah. Kirby, loved it. Tech and tag, eh, meet in the middle. It's fine. It almost feels like a bit of a job, I guess, to an extent. Sometimes. Depends on the character. Not all the time. Sorry. Like I said, it it, it depends on uh who I'm playing. I forgot fucking Kuma's here, and that's a sick-ass fucking wristband. Well, I mean, he had that in 3, but now it looks way better here in, you know, quote-unquote HD. Well, SD still, but, yeah. By the way, I don't think I actually have Tekken Tag S or HD, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I don't. Which I think that only came with a copy of Tekken Tag 2, right? I'm getting fucking good at Paul. I might even just... Oh, fuck, I might even actually end up recording more than I thought I would. Not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of fucking fun right now playing some Tekken Tag Tournament, baby. And until I get hit, then it's like, okay, it's game over. Okay, I almost got away with that. I almost got away with that. You saw that. Alright, we're doing it. We gotta... Damn it! Damn it, Dad, stop! I gotta do an electric, you know, win God Fist. Fuck! I'm fucking it up. I'm also getting paranoid as shit. Maybe we can pull off one on Unknown, who knows? We could try. We could sure as shit try. What if I do this? Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, get her launched. That's the first thing you want to do. No! She went for the grab. That's gonna hurt. I might have to beat her as Ozio. I mean, I don't have a choice. Hmm. Damn it. No, that's death. Fuck. All right. Paul Rubens. Oh, he is unlockable. That's why. Oh. I should have known that. I don't know why I didn't figure that one out. Damn it! I meant to do the other launcher and I fucked up. That's alright. It happens. 
See, now she's doing like June esque combos. I can never get that fucking four triangle one to come out though. That's the problem I'm having. If we can pull it off, that'd be. Damn it, get. I just wanted to fuck off. Oh, come on, she blocked it. Whatever. Maybe on Kaz Kazuya's campaign I can do it. And there you go. That's Paul. Yeah, like I said, I might even just do more. I, I, at this point, I'm having a lot of fun. Like, yeah, I'm wasting my day away, but... It's gonna happen anyway, let's be honest. The faster I get this stuff done, the faster it's done. Okay, that's weird, though. Was that supposed to be like that? Does it matter, like, what character you picked for the ending? Because that's... That's a hell of a pick if that's the case. Damn, alright. Anyway, yeah. Paul was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for this. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time for some more Tekken Tag Tournament. And as always, take care, everybody.